She did say she was have to step away because you know she's in the restaurant. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and get um, started. All right, so let me go to the uh the thing, the topics or whatever. I'm in the moment. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone, I'm Ash Monique, owner of Ashley's Jimmy Tummy. Make sure this is episode eight of the I've Noticed podcast. So eight. Yeah. We made it to episode eight. Okay, I got I, I got you, Keith. I got you. All right, so make sure you go like the I've Noticed Facebook page. Make sure you go like the Ashley's Jimmy Tum- Tummy Catering page. Make sure you go subscribe to the Ashley's Yummy Tummy youtube page the reason why that is very important is because if you don't catch these lives and you can always go to the youtube page because i upload it i upload it in the full episode then i also upload it breaking down each question because if you got add which ain't nothing wrong with that you know but if you got it and you be like i can't stand here for all this you know it breaks down the question so you can get straight to the point you know um also go uh follow me on instagram at ashley monique 843 and they also Guess what, you guys? You can go listen to, if you're not a visual person, if you're at work, you can't catch these lives and you want to listen to us at work, put you, in, you can follow us, listen to us on Apple Music, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Amazon Music. We're up there. Just type in I've Noticed okay, Podcast. I've noticed. Yes. Yes. Uh, waiting okay. on Pandora. I'm still waiting to be approved on Pandora, but one, two, three, four. But four, I'm going to make a flyer. You can go listen to us. So while you're at work, while you're at the gym, you know, you can listen to us, you know. All right. So everybody go ahead and um introduce yourselves where they can follow you at. My name is Courtney. You can follow no, me on IG at FullCourt, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, I think it's a delay. <laughs> okay. Tell them again, Whitney. I said I'm Whitney. Um, tonight did me, and y'all just enjoy tonight. I'm Whitney, y'all. y'all <laughs> <see>. <laughs> okay, in court. Well, oh, I was just saying you can find me on IG at full court F U L L C O R T, and that's it. Daniel. Oh, what's up? Or um, I am rhythm. What's up? You can. Uh, my name is Daniel. You can follow me on IG at I underscore. A M underscore R H Y T H Y M. That's I am rhythm. You can also do the same thing on TikTok as well. Um, and you can also follow my gaming page if you like to watch people that stream gaming. You can uh, find me on Facebook at Looney X Juice. All one word, Looney X Juice. All right. Okay. So and then at the bottom um, we have Kiki. Uh, she don't have all this extra stuff. So just follow her on um, Facebook. Facebook. Pretty much. All right, so let's get into this. I apologize for the delay, but okay, uh, the first question we got is, this is a Valentine's episode. We're recording it on a Thursday because we know y'all be booed up with your man or somebody else, man, or your girl or somebody else, girl. So we're giving you time, you know? (laughs) All right, so the first question is, are you willing to sexually satisfy your partner with a threesome? All right, well, let's go with the man first. Come on, all right. Uh, all right. Stevie J hands. Stevie J hands. <laughs> oh what, what, what you gonna do? <laughs> if your if your um, girl say, hey, um, babe, I, I I love, you know, but let's just let's just sprinkle a little bit of paprika, some some cayenne pepper in here. Like, let's bring another woman in here. Are you like, no way, I love you, babe. Only you. Are you like, okay, let's let's go. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to like really contradict myself here. Um, I feel like uh, if she came to me and presented that with me, um, I, I think that I don't know. We, know. we know you, Esther. I, I know you now. I know you win. I know you win. <laughs> um, I feel like I would probably say yeah but with stipulations what oh what's the stipulation <laughs> i think i already know what they are what I, i'm pretty sure I'm trying to guess <laughs> it, it's, it's one of them you, you, like you can't go back to her on your own mm, say it again 
you can't That's double dip. Like you can't go back to her on your own. Like the, the the third party, you can't see her on your own. Is that one of your stipulations or no? That's a stipulation. I would. I, that, that's not even a stipulation. That that's I think your stipulation would be. What I think your stipulation would be, it would have to be with another girl. You wouldn't do it with another guy. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the thing, but the thing is, like, okay, here's the thing. The thing is, like, for me, the other stipulations, like, if she has stipulations because it's another female, not another man. Like, I don't have to touch her. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to do anything with her. Y'all can do what y'all want to do or whatever, and I'll please you. That's a stipulation I would be okay with. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if she was like, hey, you know, it's free game, then I'm, you know. <coughs> but I'm just saying, if she had if she had that stipulation, I would be okay I, with that. Okay. That's interesting because I think as a, a guy, and guys in the comment section, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. If y'all want to agree to do the threesome, why would she say you can't touch her though? Like I can touch it. That's like that's like instead of you going to um Ruby Tuesdays and ordering off the menu, y'all rather go to uh Golden Corral, which is a buffet. But they're saying you go only eat these three items over here. Like why the fuck we at the buffet for then? Let's just go to the menu restaurant. That's the conversation. That's a real actual real conversation I've had in the past, um recently. Because when you told me about this, when you told me that we wanted to do this before, like last week. And I asked a friend of mine, and she was she said that she was like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, what I'm saying, you just like, you, like my my man just can't touch the girl, like, and I was like, I can, I guess I can understand that because I'm literally like, I don't have to have this threesome with you. This this is what you bought to me, so right. for me, it's what I want to do to make you happy. So you would never ask for a threesome? No. <laughs> but would you want a threesome? Like, would you like? You know? <laughs> I mean, I'm open. <laughs> like, so I'm open. basically, you would, you would want one, or maybe like you would want to, try one, but you would never put put the question out there. You have to have her. It's not something it. I need. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's not something that's like this this fantasy that I just have to have. So every girl that I talk to or get into a relationship with is like, "Hey, you ever considered a threesome, man?" Like, it's not nothing that is a necessity for me. If the opportunity presented itself, then you would take it. We'll cross that bridge. You, you would cross <laughs> that bridge. I wouldn't. <laughs> it, it depends. Like I said, it depends. Like, but I'm just saying, it. I'm an open-minded person. I'm an open-minded person. Yeah. So how about this right here? So let's say <laughs> that that opportunity that opportunity presented itself. Do you feel, and you can take a moment of silence for this. Do you feel like you are able to sexually satisfy? two women at the same time yeah that's a good question because i always ask that i be like because okay the reason why i ask that question because i have these conversations too but i'm not with that because guys always trying to get you to like pressure you to like do some freak freak nasty shit or whatever and i'm like i'm not with that i told y'all on the last episode if i want to deal with kittens or kitties i would have been a veterinarian like i'm not doing that however my thing is i know i'm a a big girl right I'm a SSBBW when you go searching for porn, right? I be telling them, I'm like, I'm already a big girl. What, how the fuck you think, like, you're going to be able to satisfy two plus size women? Like, come on, bro. And then they always be like, shit, you don't, like, bro, I had it. Calm down. Like, <laughs> calm down. You're not going to be able to handle two women, you know? So that's always a question that I always ask, like, guys fantasize about that but i think in order for it to be a success and, and, and guys in, that's watching y'all can correct me if i'm wrong i feel like in order for when i watch like porns and stuff in order for it to be like a a fulfilling sexually satisfying threesome the woman has to do do work like work as well because i don't think the guy can like you know unless he pops something you know got some viagra or something you know like Fulfilling her, fulfilling this girl, fulfilling like I, I just I don't. I've never experienced it before. Don't care to because if I do my threesome, it's gonna be with two guys. And they so, said that's a train. That's not a train. Is. That's the only reason I wouldn't do it with two guys. That's it's not a train. That's a threesome. That's mine. It wouldn't be a threesome. It's just, you basically just getting ran through if it's two guys. That's, that's, not, that's a threesome. Idea. The idea sounds nice, but to me, like at the end of the day, when you think about it, you just getting ran through. 
No. Like the idea sounds nice, like two guys, you know, want me great. But at the end of the day, when you really think about it, you're getting ran through. I mean, you can think about that, but when when I think about it, <laughs> when I think about it, I think that's my definition of a threesome for me because most threesomes are considered one male, two women. Why why isn't that considered a train? Like uh, the guy getting ran. Because of how society—that's that's just, just how, how society right? views. You're right, that's how society views it. Just it's like how society would view a man who sleeps with a lot of lot of women. That's just him being a man. And then if it's the opposite, then she's a slut, she's a whore, whatever. Yeah. But to, that's just how I would feel during it. So you're saying that you're saying that you would do a threesome. You would. I'm saying no. Uh, if I did, like if I did do it, it would be like two guys. I guess but would it would be too That's what I'm asking. Not if you would, it would have to be. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Because yeah. I, I I'm not, I'm not, you know, we 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 did great in scales. <laughs> we did great in scales. I'm not, I'm more of a I'm good. That's enough. <laughs> I'd rather finish you off. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think I'm threesome worthy like i don't think i just i'd rather just go ahead i'd rather just fix you something to eat a sandwich or something like i ain't <laughs> I, just, I don't i don't i don't know maybe i don't think i'm i don't think i can fulfill a person you know with all that extra stuff. what hmm. about you whitney like you ain't gotta get too personal you know but is that screen froze? Yeah, it looked like she's reading. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. What about you? Um, are you willing to sex sexually satisfy your partner with a threesome? Uh, I don't know. I I'm probably leaning more towards no than yes. Uh, <laughs> just because, like, I feel like for me, like, I'm just very. I don't think you should be inviting everybody into your bedroom I mean that's just me like I don't want right I don't I don't want my man to be sexually pleased by somebody else I mean, no but I mean I wouldn't be completely opposed to it but I mean it's not something like oh yeah that's that's what I want to do so okay so Courtney um I don't think I can <laughs> Kind of, kind of basically, well, kind of on, on the, on the lines of what Whitney said, one, I'm too, we know how sensitive I am. So, you know, if, if it's me and another girl and then, you know, the other girl doing whatever she's doing and I hear maybe a too loud of a moan, like, I ain't never heard you make that. Like, <laughs> and I got to shut know up. it's going to be a different moan because like guys are like. Well, that's the point. I can't handle that. Now I got to shut the whole thing down. Now, now, the, now the moment's room. You know what I mean? Wow. So that's one thing. But <laughs> so I can't do that. Um, and then with two guys, don't get me wrong. The idea of it sounds real nice. Where did everybody go? What the world? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, with two, with two guys, it's like I said, it sounds nice, but at the end of the day, I would feel like I'm just getting ran through, like kind of used type of thing, and I just don't like the idea of that. So I probably wouldn't do it. Maybe if I was like 65, like real old, you know, and we trying to find like the spark back at your relationship, but do something interesting because it's kind of like y'all are at nursing homes. Like y'all are not thinking. Yeah, even 65. Thinking about it. 65 is the new 52. That's what I'm saying. 65 does not mean nursing home. <laughs> I mean, like, y'all thinking about it. Like, y'all sitting on the porch. Like, y'all not even worried about threesomes and shit. Like, if anything, if you're 65, like, no. That's not know. necessarily true. You have I, one idea, You have one idea of how 65 is not that. Like, it's old, but it's not, like, rock and chair old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not rock and chair old. But I don't, I don't think you're, like, that, like. You probably would have to add a sexual another person because you, if you're with that person for so many years, right? Like that's what know. I'm saying. Like we would be together for like a long, long time, and we just trying to, you know, try something new. You know, keep the you know fire going, relationship type of stuff like that. But I don't think 
I couldn't do it now, no. Not with my sensitive ass. What about you, Kiki? Um, would you do a threesome to sexually satisfy your husband? Would you? Absolutely not. And why That's is it. that? And Esther has said something about, oh, y'all so conservative. It's not about being conservative. One, I'm stingy. Two, I'm selfish. Three, like, that's all mine by itself. So my thing is, nine out of ten dudes, well, not all dudes, but most dudes are, like, against another dude coming in. So if you're against another dude, I'm against another girl. I mean, that makes sense. That's I true. really, makes sense. I, and I really don't want to feel another girl's stuff anyway like that I, i'm like you i would have been a veterinarian yeah i um i'll say this right here um i i don't want to do a threesome to sexually satisfy my partner i think what it is is you've been together for so long that you want to add some spice to it i think i'm i'm more open to being a swinger versus the threesome thing Meaning, like, he could still be with a woman and I would be with my guy, you know, but it's a couple's thing and, like, we're in a room, a nice, you know, penthouse or something, and, like, he's over there with the other guy's wife and I'm over here with her husband. Like, I would be more open to that versus doing a threesome type thing. Like, I'm not, you know, and if it was a threesome, it's going to be two guys and I don't consider that to be a train. I feel like that is a threesome you know my threesome so all right so let's move on to 